Nagakuga was introduced in Monster Hunter 3D Unite as the flagship monster of the game. He is covered in black fur and has two sharp blades on his wings. He has a similar body structure to another flying wyvern, the Tigrex. While Tigrex likes to charge around and use brute force to attack you, Nagakuga moves swiftly and gracefully. Rather than charging, Naga will often pounce to close the distance between the two of you, swiping his wings as he does so, often performing the attack twice in a row. He can reposition himself around you by jumping to the side, and with the somewhat awkward camera controls of the PSP, he can often take you by surprise with another pounce attack. Sometimes, he will purposely create distance by leaping back. He also has a bite attack. Nagakuga's tail is fairly flexible, and he makes use of it when attacking. He will often swing it around, hitting hunters at his front and side. He can also slam it down in front of him, which deals heavy damage, and can even shoot spikes from it. When enraged, Naga will signify it by his eyes glowing, and leaping to the side with a roar. From there, his eyes leave red after trails, and he becomes much more deadly. When pouncing, he takes less time to get ready, often immediately going for it. His pounce combos become more intricate. He will now pounce before jumping through the air, landing, and then performing a big leap attack. He can pounce twice during this combo, and initiate the pounce after other combos too. When leaping back, Naga has a chance to pounce forward immediately, his tail slam is much faster too. Because of these pounce combos and the way he can often mix and match how he uses them, Nagakuga is about as unpredictable as he is fast. The fight is won based on how fast you can react to his different attacks. Nagakuga skipped Monster Hunter Try, but made a reappearance in Portable 3rd. Aside from hitboxes being cleaned up a bit, he gains a new attack where he spins around, swinging his tail a complete 360 degrees. In this game, Naga has a subspecies, the green Nagakuga. This Naga has a different colour scheme, and when enraged, his eyes leave a slightly different coloured after trail. Green Naga's attacks are often performed much faster than regular Naga, as his pouncing stance takes much less time. When he hops to the side, he performs an additional hop. He can perform his tail slam twice in a row, and his spikes will stun you. Both Naga Kugas are affected by the third generation's new exhaust system, which causes them to lose control after hopping to the side, as well as making their attacks slower and more feeble. Both Naga and Green Naga return for 3 ultimate. In G rank, Naga Kuga can follow a tail slam with a spin. Green Naga can extend his pounce combo with another before leaping. Naga Kuga receives another variation in this game, the rare species Lucent Naga Kuga. Lucent fights very similarly to Green Naga, but what sets him apart is his ability to turn invisible, which can be done when he jumps backwards or to the side. In addition to this, every single tail attack will now send deadly poison spikes flying in multiple directions. Fighting this Naga Kuga is much harder than the others, because you cannot easily keep track of him when he's on the move, and players at all ranges have to be wary of his tail attacks. When enraged, however, his after trails can still be seen, which can make him easier to keep track of when invisible. Lucent Naga Kuga can only be fought in the tower and at night, because the moonlight is what allows him to turn invisible. Naga Kuga skipped Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, but returned for generations. The main difference between Naga and his previous iterations is that the Generations Ultimate G rank Naga Kuga can perform a double tail spin and a double tail slam. Naga will also extend his pounce combos, often performing two pounces, jumping to the side, and repeating the combo up to two more times before ending it with a dive. The double tail slam was given to him because Green and Lucent Naga Kuga are absent from this game. Instead, there is a new variation, the Deviant Silverwind Naga Kuga. Silverwind has white fur striped across his body, and his tail has spikes up all the time. What sets him apart from Naga Kuga is that like Lucent, all tail attacks will send out a projectile. In this case, it's a giant gale of wind that damages hunters. Previously, Naga Kuga had one projectile, in the form of his tail spikes. But Silverwind can send the gale out from any tail attack in any direction he desires, and the result of this is that he will often stand far away from you and spam his new attacks. He can also hop twice in a row like Green Naga Kuga and perform certain combos, like being able to tail spin after a slam. His tail spike projectiles are different in that they home in on the hunter from above. In later Deviant quests, he can fire spikes in the air while jumping and faints before spin attacking with a gale of wind. Naga Kuga returned for the Must Hunter World expansion. Iceborne Naga is quite a bit different from his older forms. Aside from looking very nice in HD, he is quite a bit slower than before, with several attacks being slower than in games like GU or 3U. Naga's tail spike volley is sped up however, and he sends out two swift volleys that can make you bleed. 
He doesn't chain pounce attacks together nearly as much as the GU version. Instead, Naga likes to reposition himself by swiftly running to the left or right of you. He gains a new attack where he runs forward and swings his body around. He gains another new attack where he jumps towards you and flips back, swinging his tail in front of him. He can also leap twice like Green Naga Kuga and Silverwind. Naga later returned for Moss Hunter Rise. In this game, Naga Kuga feels like a blend between his Iceborne and Generations Ultimate iterations. He has almost exactly the same attack combos from Generations, as well as the ability to double tail spin and slam when enraged. Naga will perform similar tail spike volleys to the Iceborne version, but they will no longer cause bleeding. Instead, they have a higher chance of knocking you out. When preparing to tail slam, Naga has a new tail where he slowly walks to the side before initiating the attack. If you played Iceborne, this will definitely catch you off guard, because Naga would only walk like this when he was about to leave the area. In Rise, it means he's preparing for this attack. My favourite Naga Kuga is hands down the GU G rank version. His swift attacks in conjunction with the hunting styles can make him really fun to fight. He also has many tricks, like the double tail slam and spin, which are super fun to counter with Valor style. An interesting thing to note is that Naga Kuga over the years has more or less evolved into a green Naga Kuga. Almost all his unique traits have been transferred over in later games. The multiple jumps, the double tail slams, the KO tail spikes, makes you wonder what a modern green Naga Kuga would look like. But regular Naga Kuga slowly becoming a green Naga in all but name and appearance could be why we haven't seen him in a long time. I am not a big fan of Silverwind. Naga Kuga's tail spikes are his only projectile, so most of the time he has to come close to you in order to kill you, allowing you to strike back. Silverwind's scale strikes allow him to basically camp you out with constant range attacks, and he knows this, which causes the fight to drag out. I much prefer the way Lucent Naga Kuga handled constant tail projectiles instead. Which Naga Kuga is your favourite and why? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos too.